it's so wild that that tastes like apple pie like that's crazy this week we are featuring olivers olivers if you're watching this hello <laughs> so we're drinking their apple pie wine and i'll review it at the end so stay tuned Hello, hello. Thank you so much for joining me. Welcome back to another episode of Wine About It Wednesdays where we wine with wine on a Wednesday because it's wine o'clock somewhere. I am so glad you are here with me. If it's your first episode, thank you so much for joining me. If it is your second episode, girl, look at you being all supportive. <laughs> so today we are discussing this clip. And within those three months, I visited a handful of times. Why did you have to cheat on me? Some guy. I got needs. Let me give you a bit of background about that. This is a clip from a segment on Snapchat called Second Chances. Basically, an individual takes their former partner on and is asking for a second chance. Everybody's story is different. To give you a backstory about that particular couple, they were dating. Um, the woman in the relationship relocated to Los Angeles, I believe, and he got back on Tinder and that's where they initially met. He started engaging with other women and cheating on his girlfriend with those women. And he also cheated on his girlfriend with his best friend. He didn't seem very apologetic <laughs> when I was watching the segment. I was actually kind of blown because he seemed so uh, entitled to cheat on her it didn't seem like he was very remorseful he just wanted to jump over that mountain he created and go back into another relationship with her and spoiler alert if you plan on watching this she told him no which good for her because he does not deserve her period <laughs> So basically how I feel about his statement is him saying that he's a man and he has needs actually irritated me. It irritated me because we're women also have needs. Like we're also sexual beings. We're not bumps on a log. We're not here to solely procreate and carry babies. And that's the only time we should be or have a sexual encounter. That's why it was so mind boggling to me that he said that because it's like, dude, it's 2019 it's literally 2019 that's something somebody in the 50s would probably say like let that go because that is old tired and played out i felt like he was being very manipulative during the segment and it was like he was like and i cheated on you i'm sorry and <laughs> like boy <laughs> You cannot do that. That is not okay. I'm a firm believer in giving someone their options. So if you have cheated on somebody, let them know so they can decide whether or not they want to be in a relationship with you. You cannot decide how somebody spends their life or spends their future. Whether they decide to be with you or not is their decision. And keeping the truth from somebody, you make that decision for them. And that's not right and it's not okay. So that's my quick two cents on that please let me know what your two cents are in the comments i want to read them let me know um do you feel like it's an old outdated archaic statement or do you feel like men do have needs and that's why he cheated i cannot wait to read what you guys have to say please let's keep this a respectful conversation in the comments <laughs> i respect everybody's opinion let's move on okay we're going to talk about this one this is apple pie wine by oliver and let me just tell you i am an oliver girl <laughs> okay i have tried the majority of their wines if i haven't tried it's because the store doesn't sell it i have recommended them i have given them as gifts i am an oliver girl i love their stuff <laughs> the alcohol content is 8.3 it is really good when it tastes sweet it tastes like apples um and it kind of tastes like vanilla too um but it's really really good if you don't like apples you won't like this that's as simple as i can put it because it is really good it's not bitter at all there's no aftertaste it's very smooth um and it it tastes so much like apple pie it's kind of weird <laughs> that it tastes so much like apple pie so i would definitely suggest this this is a seasonal wine um, and I learned that when I went to their winery. <laughs> this is a seasonal wine, so you won't catch it all year round. But it is at Meyer. 
and when i purchased it it was like six or seven bucks but it probably retails for about nine ten ish so you know another wine for ten or under ten dollars you're welcome but it's good So, Oliver, if you're watching this, this is a hit. Thank you. That concludes this episode of Wine About It Wednesdays. Thank you guys so much for joining me. And see you next week on Wednesday where we wine with wine on Wednesdays because it's wine o'clock somewhere. Catch y'all in the next one. Bye.